So let's talk about what happens when you actually go ahead and download some kind of PDF on your iPhone using Safari web browser. Where does it go or what can you do with that actual file? That's what this video is about. Let's get started. A lot of people don't know this, but the Safari web browser on the iPhone does, in fact, have a download section. But when it's empty, it's just not visible. If there's anything inside the downloads, the button or the clickable tab shows up when you click on the AA button right next to the URL. So the first method would be to check out the downloads, but chances are that nothing will be there, even if you downloaded some kind of PDF file. Well, the thing is that downloading PDFs on an iPhone doesn't work the same way as on the Android or basically on any computer. Whenever you hit the download button that is supposed to download that file in Safari, it only manages to open it up. So on your iPhone, after clicking the download button, it doesn't ask you like where you want to save the file or what you want to do with it. Instead, it just open up a brand new tab in the browser, which will basically allow you to use and browse Scroll through the file, so in case that's okay, you can read it there and then close the tab. But it's also possible that you want to do something else, namely keep the file, like to download it on your device as a standalone file. It is possible, of course, and there are, again, multiple options on how you can go about it. Now, the key here is to click on the share icon in the lower left corner. This will present you with many different sharing options. So right away, you can share the PDF using iMessage or basically any other form of sharing that is available to you. But we don't actually want to send it to anyone. Instead, we want to save it, so scroll down a bit more, and there you should see as one of the first few options the one saying, Save to Files. If you click on it, it will immediately show up all of your folders within the Files app, and it will ask you where you want to save the PDF. Now, at this point, it's just up to you to decide where you'd like to keep it. When you decide, just hit Save, and then the file will be saved to your device. Also, keep in mind that you should choose the On My iPhone section, because you can also share or like save it to the iCloud drive, but this isn't going to physically store it on your device, which may be fine, don't get me wrong, I just want to make sure you're happy with the location of the PDF. But of course, there are other different places where you could save the file. If you have a Google Drive installed on your iPhone, then you can save it there. Same thing with Dropbox, or basically with any other third-party cloud storage provider. So instead of just clicking on Save to Files, make sure to scroll down a bit further. And there, as mentioned, and according to the installed apps on your device, you can see options like Open in GoodNotes, Save to Dropbox, Save as Draft using WordPress, or Save to Documents, like many different options to pick from. But if you didn't find something, for example, in our case, we didn't find the Google Drive. Well, instead of searching for it within these buttons, Scroll a bit back up and try to find the Google Drive among the icon scroller. Chances are that it will be somewhere there. And after you choose your desired destination, you can just save and store your PDF file wherever you want easily. So this would be pretty much everything what I wanted to say in this video. If you enjoyed it and found it valuable, I'd really appreciate if you hit that like button. You can also subscribe for more tutorials like this one, and we can see each other in the future. Peace.